What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, if you didn't know. So today's video is gonna be all about choosing the right volume lashes. So this is definitely a topic that I know is a little bit hard to kind of understand, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make this as short and sweet as possible. So basically there are three kind of types or three weights that you wanna look for when you're talking about volume lashing. So it is the 0 0.07, 0 0.05, and 0 0.03. Anything under a 0.10 is considered a volume lash. So anything that is a 0, 0.0 something is what you'll be using for volume lashing. Okay, so I know it gets overwhelming when you're looking at the numbers themselves, but basically what do these numbers mean? These numbers are the indication of the weight of the lash. So knowing the weight of your lashes are extremely important because the weight of the lash or the specific eyelash extension is what's going to determine how dramatic, how full, how fluffy, and just basically the overall outcome of your client's set. So one thing to definitely keep in mind is that everybody's natural lashes are totally different from one another, which means every single set should be different in terms of weight, length, curl, all that good stuff, because you obviously have to cater to your client's natural lashes. And if everyone else is different, then that means that you have to customize each set for your client's lashes. Okay, so let's get into the weights of the lashes. So the first one is the 0 0.07 lashes. So these lashes are definitely a little bit on the heavier side, they're a little bit thicker, but these would be used for a light volume. When I say a light volume, the reason why I'm referring to it as a light volume is that it would be a volume that doesn't have a lot of drama to it. It's not a super intense volume because you would be using less lashes in each fan. That being said, you want to make sure that you're using the right amount of lashes because each lash has its own weight dictated to it, that you want to make sure that you're only going as far as maybe a 4D. So when I say uh, in terms of 4D, 2D, all that stuff, it's really and truly talking about how many lashes are in each fan. So if it's two lashes in a fan, then that is a 2D. If it's three lashes in a fan, that is a 3D. So when you're using a 0 0.07, you want to go anywhere from a 2D to a 4D, nothing higher than that, because the overall weight of that fan is starting to get super heavy and you don't want to weigh down the client's lash. So with a 0 0.07, if you're doing a light volume, chances are because it is a heavier lash and it is a bit of a denser, thicker lash, you would get, even though it's a light volume, you would get a more defined volume set. So it would be still like a nice dark set, but it would be a little bit less on the dramatic side because there's not so many fans or so many lashes in the fan to create a full volume look. Okay, so the next one is a 0 0.05. So a 0 0.05 can definitely give you a medium to a heavy volume set. So that being said, a medium to heavy volume set would be anywhere from a 5D to a 7D. So you want to create this. I feel like 0.05s are definitely more of the common lashes used in volume lashing just because they are easy to work with. They're not too thick. They're not too thin. You're able to create a nice dense fan or a nice light fan with them. They kind of are like your versatile lash where you don't have to worry too much about damaging your client's lashes because they are nice and thin, but they're not thin enough where you would use them for a mega volume because the more lashes you add into that fan, the thicker that base is. And with 0.05s for sure, you don't want to go too heavy because then that base gets very, very thick and chunky and it could hurt your client. It could damage your lash. Lashes. It could even poke them when they're blinking, all that stuff. So you definitely want to be careful. But a 0 0.05 is a safe lash to use when you're learning volumes or when you're trying to create the perfect light to medium or even medium to heavy volume set. Okay, and the last one is 0 0.03s. So 0 0.03s are majority of the time strictly used for mega volume sets. So that is a super dramatic set to a heavy set. So you can kind of go anywhere from like a heavy to a super heavy look. Um, this is those super full, dark, dense, uh, just very, very dense sets because these lashes are so thin. You're able to go anywhere from like an 8D up. Sometimes they go up to 25 lashes in one fan. It can really, really create some large fans. And the larger the fan, the more space it takes up. And when you start piling those lashes together, you're definitely covering a lot of real estate on that client's lid and you're going to get a nice full dense 
set. So with the 0.03s, like I said, because they're so thin, you're able to apply so many lashes to them. You want to make sure that you're using 0.3s if you're going to go on to a mega volume set or something super dramatic, because you want to make sure that at the end of the day, the bases are nice and thin and narrow. And when you go too heavy, they don't have the flexibility to kind of merge together as a 0.03 would. Okay, at the end of the day, even though these are kind of some indications on where you can go with certain weights, at the end of the day, all of these sets, all of these lashes can be played up or played down. It really doesn't matter in terms of what's specific for a certain lash. The only general rule really is that you don't use anything heavier than a 0.03 for a mega volume. Other than that, you can create a light set with a 0.03. I did that in my last video. If you guys wanna see what I did there, I did a lash with me and you can check that out right here. It was a hybrid set, but I made it with uh, 0.03s as well as classic lashes. And it came out like a really nice light hybrid. It really depends. You can also use your 0.03s in light sets. You can use your 0.07s mixed in with some 0.03s. It just depends. You have so much options, so many variations so much customization that you can use but you do want to know the weights and keep a hold of your clients lashes so that you are not damaging them in any way shape or form so if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time bye